Cheese, it's your girl Henny, and today I'm gonna be eating the new volcano chicken kalbi noodles. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. So I've tried the volcano fire noodles before and I saw this new volcano chicken kalbi noodles. So I wanted to try them. So let's try it. Today I'm gonna be doing normal bites. Cheers! It actually really tastes like the star fried chicken kalbi. Pickled radish. It's a little bit sweet and spicy at the same time. I think this might have been a collab with a Southeast Asian country noodles because this noodle is by Palto, but I saw some different language in the front. I think it was Vietnamese. I would say the spice level is less than the original fire noodles. So if you guys want to try new spicy noodles, you guys should definitely try these. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but we had two of the biggest earthquakes in like four to five years in LA. And some of you guys who are OG honeybees probably know I was in one of the biggest earthquakes in Taiwan. And I get really scared of earthquakes, so if I feel it, I'm just like ready to duck under the table. I remember when we had that big earthquake in Taiwan, our school was in the mountains, so a few of the buildings collapsed. So we didn't go to school for three weeks, which we were really happy about. But we were out of electricity, water for a while. But luckily, we had a lot of neighbors who were very helpful and you know, shared food with us, water with us, because we never experienced earthquake in Korea. Plus, it didn't help that my dad was on a business trip to Korea, so we really didn't know what to do. We didn't know English in the first place. We didn't know Taiwanese. We didn't know Mandarin. So it was like one of the worst times. This time around, I was in bed and I could feel the bed going like this. And the blinds were like moving, making like those that kind of sound. So scary. So now I have like water bottles next to my bed just in case you get a big earthquake. And don't forget to have shoes. Because just in case your house or building collapses, you need shoes to like walk over like the rocks and the cement and stuff like that. Hoping we don't get a big one, but just in case. It's there. Better safe than sorry. Mm. 
I knew something was a little bit off with the weather this summer because it was really hot one day and then it would get kind of cold the next day. And it was never like that here in LA. If any of you guys have earthquake tips, please comment down below so I can get prepared if there's another big earthquake. Cheers! Don't forget to get your honey mug! I know a lot of you guys are on summer break right now. So what are some of your plans for this summer? For me... Filming and editing. I do want to go to Korea. But I hate the summers in Korea. It's the worst. It's humid. It's like right when you get out of the door, you're just like sweating. Like you took a shower. One thing I really don't like is sweating. Just humidity. When I lived in Taiwan, I would sweat every five minutes. And with humidity comes mosquitoes. And with mosquitoes comes itchiness. And with itchiness comes itchiness. I think the level of spice for this one is like bibimbap, the cold spicy noodles. Just like a good spice. Everyone, please stay safe. And those of you guys who asked if I was okay, thank you guys so much for asking. I love you guys. Last bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honey bee, 
and like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.